Right. Well, we are on to King's Row here. And we're gonna be seeing Skybound on the attack here first. Trying to set the pace and get things started quickly here. Uh, so that they can finish off this series and move on into the finals to face off against Secret Snack. Skybound going to be running this dive composition, 3 DPS that they have been running pretty successfully so far. Not showing what they're running, playing very smart, going all the way around to the side, waiting until they can identify it. this dive. Going to go in as soon as the dive comes in, knowing that this May is going to be there. And look at that, extremely effective dive coming in from Skybound. Taking out two immediately, that is going to be what they need. Azura does get one of them, as does Daini, but not going to be enough. This is going to be a very quick take coming out from Skybound. They have practiced that, and it shows. They came out very strong. Yeah, I mean, you saw them hugging that right side or that left side wall of their spawn door, not showing the side of Leon Die what they had coming out of the spawn. And as a result, complete surprise when they came and dove in all on top of the same targets. Just very, very impressive stuff coming in from Skybound. Well, well rehearsed initiation there. But here we go, we see, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Skettle catching the hammer from Gainey there before he can recall. So Skettle gonna be set back in the spawn, but going to be coming back pretty quickly. He is a tracer, so we can get back quick. And well, I mean, Brazic's now switching on to the Reaper, coming in from behind and getting work done right now. Already picking up two, has the Mercy pocket, and yeah, this is going to be Brazic's absolutely going massive, getting kill after kill in the feed. But we are going to see uh, a few ults coming online here for the attackers. They're about to have four ults online. Uh, Skettlebus about to be the fifth, so I mean, they are going to come in very, very stacked and ready to go here, uh, looking to win this next fight and get the cart moving through the street space. Here we go, we are going to see that, that same coordinated dive, and they managed to take out Dazzard really quickly. Everything coming in now. Rocket Bar's playing. Brazic turns it around, gets one kill on the Skettle, but I don't think it's going to be enough. They managed to hold on to the, uh, I'm sorry, they managed to hold on to the Transcendence, and Skettle almost to the Pulse Bomb. Zax with the Sound Barrier coming up as well, but on the other side, four, five, five ults available, Brazic's almost to the sixth ult. So this next fight is going to be a very difficult one for Skybound to win. Uh, they definitely need to come in and just try to bait out these ults, but getting that Pulse Bomb in there, taking Zero down very low and not able to finish though. Zero uh, gets away with the life, but oh, it takes down a top shot instead. Now it's going to be the defense trying to throw what they can, but the Sound Barrier coming out for Skybound, keeping them all very healthy on this point, and the kills are going in now for the offense. Brazic used the Death Blossom, but only able to get one before he is taken out himself. And this payload keeps rolling forward. Skybound gonna complete the second objective. And they are looking very strong to complete the map. Skettle switching off of the Tracer now. Going to be playing with Zarya to try to finish this out. Alex staying on the Winston for now, but I would expect that uh, after he gets up to the Primal Rage and uses it, he's probably going to switch on to the uh, Reinhardt. Definitely a uh, better stage for Reinhardt here, but Brazic's taken down immediately. Maybe you don't need to, as Blue Ninja getting these kills. And he uses the Earth Shatter, not able to get anything for it, but gets resurrected immediately after dying. Top Shot gets two with that Tactical Visor, so they are going to be able to hold on here. Alex does have the... Uh, primal Rage, but is just going to jump away with his life, regrouping with his team. And they're going to come back in. They've got four minutes still left on the clock. They're going to have the Primal Rage, the Blade, the Dragon Blade, and the Rocket Barrage here. Uh, and this is what they were able to break through the second point by using. So, We'll see whether they're able to do the same thing here. Zach getting very, very aggressive, but Blue Ninja going in getting two before being taken down himself by Brazix. But the kill is all going the way of the offense. Zero not going to be alive. Not that the Red was there anyway. Azura does pop the Primal Rage just to stay alive, but not going to be long for this world. Taken down below half already. And Azura, yes, definitely going to have trouble staying alive. Going to be taken out there in the end. 
and this cart moving around this final corner looking very very strong to complete the map Dazrio does have this transcendence looking to keep the team alive but the dive is going to be coming in here as they try to take out Dying, try to take out anyone and the final rage coming in as well as the transcendence and there it is dragon blade coming in onto this transcendent or uh, uh, graviton rather the trance coming in for the defense but not going to be enough as all of those kills are already there two coming in from the death blossom but brazix falls and that is going to be the map completed in very quick well not quite completed yet as actually zero comes back in and gets the res just in time guy picking up a couple of uh, a lot of damage here and there's the earth shatter knocking back uh skybound so skybound despite getting very close to the end unable to complete there uh, with a very clutch res coming in from Zero. Didn't have it when Zero came out of spawn, but got it up right as, uh, right in the nick of time. So, holding off Skybound at the very end, the way they were held off on Route 66, this, uh, well, this could be big here. Skybound coming back in here. They've got the nano boost. Uh, they're looking for anything else, but Brad is going to be taken down. Might mean they don't need as much ult. Oh, and they're just going to throw the nano boost onto their Reinhardt. Gaimi going to be taken out. Reinhardt going to be just swinging this hammer in a small crowded area. All of these kills going the way of Skybound now. They just need to kill Zero. Zero trying desperately to stay alive. Stalling this out so well. Flying around very effectively, maybe managing to stall it out long enough. As yes, Al Azura going to get out here, and uh, still none of these kids going in. Alex taking himself off the map, but Azura still alive, almost up to the primal rage, not able to get there, and finally, Skybound come. Oh no, my con. Sorry about that, my controller was just dying, but we are all set, got it plugged in now. Uh, anyways, Skybound completing the map with a minute and a half, a minute 33 left, and that's huge because now, if they are able to hold We Don't Die to overtime, We Don't Die doesn't get a second attack going into the extra round, so Skybound has the opportunity to give themselves an easy win. I mean, they could they could even just full hold here. You know, that, that, that is, I think, the ideal situation here for Skybound. They do not want any sort of drama. They just want to take this win and move on to the finals. So Skybound is going to be looking for a strong defensive hold uh, on the back of uh, Blue Ninja yet again. And as we saw last time, Alex again going to be playing the Hanzo on this first point we'll see whether it's able to work as effectively against we don't die as it worked against primal but uh you know primal was a team of mostly randoms who had been put together so we don't die i think is going to have a little bit more coordination maybe a little bit more ability to deal with this uh we'll see what the what the situation is here we don't die going to come out on pretty much their their normal. Brazix playing the Reaper, top shot on the Tracer. Um, but yeah, no no real surprises. Gaini going to be the first to fall though. Blue Ninja getting some rockets in while uh, Zero X is taking a nap. Zero actually on the Reinhardt now. So Gaini was playing the Lucio. Very interesting switches coming out here as they tr are trying to find some answer. Zero just kind of stalling at this choke point, waiting for Gaini to come back. But Gaini again. Taken down very low, coming out of the spawn, and this uh, blue ninja Farah is making it difficult for him to do anything. But there it is, the charge coming in, taking down Alex, and this is where the offense is going to start pushing in. Uh, Brazix getting onto Heroic there as well. So this is going to be the first point unlocked here pretty quickly from the side of We Don't Die. Uh, definitely setting the same pace as Skybound, and having Alex on this Hanzo was a little bit questionable, only able to hit a couple arrows through that entire thing. 
and uh, you know not not able to get the same value out of it as he did during the last game on King's Row. Um, and again, just throwing a scatter arrow there and not hitting anything, getting no damage done. So definitely going to be looking for Ow. Alex to be, uh, you know, maybe starting to come online, and if not. Switching up again, not hitting anything with the scatter arrow. The rocket barrage coming in from Blue Ninja though does manage to get one. Heroic gets another, but they are still only you know, not that far away from the spawn door. So these kills are going to be negated pretty quickly when uh, We Don't Die comes out of spawn. So now Skettle is going to be charged in very, very taken down very uh, weak, but not quite finished off it's actually going to be z dog and s dog rather and zach that are taken down but the kill is going the other way now as <clears throat> they are keeping this fight even i mean they're, they're backing up a little bit the side of skybound but they're not uh they're not losing this fight outright and that's actually going to be brazix taken down there so now skybound when they get their spawners back which there are two coming all the way from this back spawn once they get them back, they're going to be able to retake this fight. But Heroic, getting that hook on the Zero Zex, but being taken down himself. Skettle, taking down Top Shot, but the uh, Sound Barrier coming in, and that's going to keep most of the rest of the side of We Don't Die alive. And they are just slowly but surely pushing this cart forward. But Zero, missing that charge there, going to end up being huge. Now the Rocket Barrage from Blue Ninja is going to take out Gainey before that Trance can do anything about it. And this is going to be a kill still going the way of Skybound as they are holding strong here. Now they're going to have a lot of ults to continue holding. Skettle with the Earth Shatter coming up, the Nano Boost available, Alex has the Dragon Strike. We're looking for that any second now as he doesn't really have anything to pair it with. So he's just going to be using it to try to get these kills. And the Nano actually being thrown out onto Skettle. I, I'm not sure they even need the Dragon Strike, but maybe this is the opportunity. Oh, no, never mind. He doesn't use it and they're going to suffer for it. That Pulse Bomb coming in from Top Shot, getting four, and the cleanup was there. That is going to be We Don't Die capturing this second point in spectacular fashion and moving into the third with a lot of time left to complete this map. But Blue Ninja taking out Brazix early on there, and now the Dragon Strike coming in just to zone out some of these attackers. The Scatter Arrow on the top shot finishes them off, and yeah, that is going to be a hold here so far from the side of Skybound. Uh, they're getting the kills they need at least to, to stagger or stall out this push a little bit, but Azura getting that kill onto S Dog before this next fight could be huge. Top shot though going down going to remove some of the dps here for we don't die and pretty much everyone back here for the side of skybound brazic's going down as well so this is skybound continuing to hold strong not allowing themselves to lose too many people here and they do have the resurrect available they have the whole hog and they have the rocket barrage so they still have a lot that they can use to hold this the hook coming in onto azura taking azura down so this is Huge play, Blue Ninja picking up two with the Rocket Barrage, continuing to hold strong. They are doing a good job also of holding on to a lot of their ults, only using one ult that time. So they're still going to have three ults coming into this next fight. Skettle getting very close to the Earth Shatter as well. So they're looking strong to continue holding here. Coming in for We Don't Die, they're going to have the Earth Shatter, the uh, <coughs> Sound Barrier, and the Death Blossom coming in. But... Brazix isn't getting a chance to set up any of these death blossoms and I think Heroic is hitting enough of these hooks where even if Brazix tries to go for it he's not going to be able to get anything good going. He does come in and try to get something going from behind but most of it's going to be blocked out and he's going to be taken out immediately. Kills are coming in though for this offense but it doesn't matter because Zaxophone has that resurrect. The sound barrier comes in for the attack. Skettle though laying down the hammer not able to get anything from it. But it's Alex getting a couple of kills on the Soldier 76 now. He has swapped off of the Honto. And, uh, you know, at the very least, this is enough to keep this payload from moving forward too quickly. 
We do still see Heroic alive and with the whole hog available. He's not going to use it just yet as they do have Brazix on the D.Va in his face. But still, the Lang, the Lang, the Lang is the name of the game. They're now getting down to the point where they're going to be able to at least have a lower time bank or a higher time bank than we don't die. So Skybound doing everything they need to be doing and they're winning this fight as well. Alex getting kills on this Soldier 76, a great swap coming out from him. Azura are going to be taken down, not going to escape with that charge. And we're going to see Alex with the tactical advisor. Blue Ninja almost to the rocket barrage. Heroic still holding on to this whole hog. On the other side, they're going to have a lot of their own Graviton, Earth Shatter, Transcendent, and their own tactical advisor coming online for top shot. But they need to make good use of these ultimates, and they haven't been able to do so just yet. Going to be coming in trying to turn this around because if they can't complete this map they are going to be losing this series the rocket barrage takes down one before blue ninja is taken down himself but we are going to see the offensive trance coming in top shot with the tactical visor picking up to azura helping out dazrio everyone contributing in this speed and the cart going to move forward almost to the end here i'm not sure whether anyone's going to be able to make it back in time we do see blue ninja trying to get out here and yes they do manage to get some people out to contest but i'm not sure whether they're going to have the sustain they need the earth shatter coming in knocking down three and those are two kills coming in off of that the earth there the sound barrier coming in to keep this attack healthy the self-destruct knockdown on the point but not uh, going to matter as it does pick up s dog and yes that is going to be the map completed here by we don't die with time on the clock so they're going to have an extra attack here But it is going to be the side of We Don't Die on the attack here first. They are fighting for their lives here. Only a minute in their time bank. They need to take the first point. They need to get as much progress with the payload afterwards as Skybound has two minutes and nine seconds in their time bank. So plenty of time based on their first attack to at least take the first point, if not push it through the second like they did last time. And it's the def the pressure is definitely on we don't die to come out here and have a strong attack right now we will see where they decide to go azura on the winston again which worked for them last time but they need to be pushing in very aggressively and they do so they get azura in on the back lines but he's going to be slept so not going to have the fall up they're looking for but dasriel does get that kill on the skettle top shot gets the kill on the s dog as well so two kills already going into the attack but zaxphone turning it around getting one of zero two kills now going for the defense this fight is completely even but brazix does not like that turning it around getting kills of his own so now it is just going to be heroic trying to do everything he can and live up to that name not able to do so is taken down and this point is looking like it's going to be taken by we don't die no way that skybound is going to be able to get back in here as a full team and contest this but they are going to be coming into overtime as this uh cart moves out of the garage so all we don't die needs to do is push in as a team and get these kills get them off of the cart one time and they will win this game or well not not win this game end this attacking phase at the very least so we'll see how they decide to go about this skybound needs to take this fight very quickly though they're going to dive in immediately taking out top shot that is what they need to do to start this off and there is Gyne going down as well the rocket barrage coming in getting everyone off the point and that is going to be skybound stopping them dead one point picked up though for we don't die who now all they need to do is hold this first point for two minutes and nine seconds and they will be able to bring us into a game three 
and make this uh, the most exciting matchup of the day so far. But look at that yellow box of victory. Not very far at all. All Skybound needs to do is take the first point and push the cart that far, and they will be going into the finals to face off against Secret Snack. And I got to say, I mean, either one of these teams, I think, will provide a, a good show uh, for us in that final. But Skybound definitely showing their strength so far. Um, and I think they are they are in a position where they can come out on top here with two minutes left in their time bank and you know with how fast they were able to take the, the first point last time if they if they run the same composition to the same effect there is uh, there's really not much that the side of <clears throat> of we don't die is going to be able to do about it so we don't die going to have Gaini on this bastion so far, the only tank they have is Azura on the Roadhog, though. This... Hmm, this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be interesting. We'll see whether this works out for him here, but not going to have any sort of, of tanking av available for him. No shielding available for Gaini on this, uh... on this Bastion. Zach, I'm getting very aggressive there. I'm not sure what he's doing going up ahead of the team like that so often. And yeah, that that kind of puts the kibosh on that first push. Gaini gonna be taken down there, and Skettle already behind this team, so going to be at least a nuisance in the back line as the rest of his team gets adjust or gets uh, regrouped and comes back in. Hopefully, Zach does not push in alone this time again. But now the dive can fully come in as they are getting established. They're getting their regroup back together on this point. They need to get on the zero. They absolutely need to get on the zero. They need to take out Gaini quickly because Gaini back in the back lines takes out Alex. The Dragon Blade coming in now though for Heroic. He already has that ultimate up. Gaini though setting up on the back line. No, he's gonna be taken down. The Reds comes in though. They did not manage to take out zero. And Gaini still alive after that resurrect. Going to be laying in a lot of damage. And this is going to be a continued hold coming in from we don't die they are getting the kills that they need skybound unable to answer this bastion right now they absolutely need to figure this out but 45 seconds left on the clock here for skybound to take this first point and get it move get the cart moving forward no ultimates are going to be available here for we don't die we need an effective push coming in right now from Skybound. They are trying to get onto Azura, but this Bastion is just laying in damage to everyone. Skettle does take out Davriel, so no trance going to be available coming up here. But Top Shot taking out Estog. All of these kills going the way of, of We Don't Die. And still completely holding strong on this point. But we are going to see the Primal Rage now coming out. The Pulse Bomb being stuck on the Gaini. They aren't going to have zero here for this Resurrect. But the ultimate's coming out for the defense. Five seconds left here for Skybound to try to get on this point. And I, they are going to be able to do it. The trance coming out to keep them alive. They're going to have to take Top Shot down just the support. But we do see support versus support. It is Bloodthirsty support on the point right now. Dazriel off to the side. But Zero has this Resurrect hiding around the corner. Waiting for a chance to come in and get it. But we are going to see Azura coming in. Azura with the res coming in from zero now the rocket barrage coming in from blue ninja is going to be taken down by gun gaini on this bastion gaini set up right by the point gonna be taken down though by the pulse bomb and the kills are going the way of the offense but still being kept in this fight dazriel and azura getting these kills these they, look, defense is not giving up yet heroic will be the last one and he's gonna fall that is we don't die taking king's row four to three not allowing this first point to be unlocked and taking us to game three of this semifinal matchup. Zero absolutely earning play of the game with this Resurrect right here, picking Gaini back up to do uh, what Gaini did.